Okay, now let's say we got this question. Now, two impedance Z1 and Z2. Now, impedance are same as resistance. So, what you need to do is that find the total resistance and they are in series. If they are in series, we just add them. First, find the total resistance or total impedance Z, which is Z1 plus Z2. So, I need to write down Z1, which is 150 minus 30i or j it doesn't matter what is z2 it's 90 plus a 60i these are uh, add them together you will find a big z that is 240 that is plus 30i once you got this thing it's asking you to find the current to find the current this is what you do you need to know the formula for the current the formula for the current is v equals to ir now i is v over r is an i remember r is same as the total impedance yeah so now just put that in in the equation and just work it out so let me just do on the um, next page v is 150 it's given here so I'm, I'm going to write i equals to v over z or r yeah they are same it's 150 and what's the value of that one 240 plus 30 i now once you got this thing i suggest you put a bracket here and then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply with the complex numbers and divide with the complex numbers. So we multiply and divide with the complex conjugate. What is a complex conjugate of that one? That's a 30, not 3. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so you change the middle sign. So you multiply and divide with that thing. Now now what you do is you multiply the top one together and the bottom one together so when you multiply the top one that will multiply together so you can multiply these two together and you can also multiply the bottom one together these one together multiplying the top one first you write it down You write it down, let's say um, 150 bracket 240 minus 30i, and the bottom one is 240 plus 30i, and 240 minus 30i. Okay. And now you just multiply them together and get the answer. Once you multiply the top one, it's 150 times 240 and 150 min uh, times minus 30. That is 3600. Zero, zero. And 3 times 15 is 45. And then two more zeros. Oh, I made a mistake. There is another zero here, and then an I. Now, when you do the bottom one, we can use an easy method. You can do two forty square because the difference of two square. So you do two forty square minus thirty 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 square. Yeah, or thirty I square. Yeah, let's do thirty I square thirty i square once you do that one you cannot solve the top one because they are two different things
240 square is 576 and three more zeros and that one becomes a 900 i square if you want to get rid of the i square you make that positive and just get rid of the i square because i square is minus one once you got that bit the top one remains as it is but the bottom one you can add the 900 bottom one will be 58500 0. on the top we will copy and paste the same thing once you got this bit what you need to do is you need to divide everything individually by 58500 zero, zero. yep so you're going to do 36 that will be 8 over 13 but you can do a decimal so 0 0.615 three decimal places minus do not do i there so just do without i so that one is going to be 45 there on the top and that's going to be 1 over 13 or 0 0.077 so this is our current value but we need to do further more than that if i want to plot that one on the argand diagram so let's say i want to plot it on argand diagram argand diagram is like this obviously i'm not drawing to the scale so this is when we write the complex number z it's written as a plus b i which means that's the complex mode Com that's the uh, imaginary part so imaginary part is here and negative imaginary and the real part real part is 0 0.6 so let's say i do 0 0.6 somewhere here and that one is negative 0 0.07 which is going to be somewhere here okay. so i can kind of draw this thing this is my current value because now i can find the direction of my current which is going to be here now that is 0 0.615 minus 0 0.077 i yeah now they want me to draw the conjugate conjugate of that one is going to be up here like a mirror image yeah that is going to be 0 0.615 plus 0 0.077 yeah that point here is going to be as i as well this point here is 0 0.615 and this point here is 0 0.077 yeah okay that's how it works now i want to convert that into polar form so i have the value for my i which is 0 0.615 minus 0 0.077 i to convert that into polar form, I got I need to find out the r, big r or small r, and then angle theta. So r angle theta. So I have the formula for the r. R is let me change the color. R is a square plus b square square root. Remember, 
my A is this thing and the B is this thing. So 0 0.615 square plus 0 0.077 square and square root. And I got the answer 0 0.619 or 98. Or if you round it off, that would be 0 0.620. So, which means I got the value for the R, which is 0 0.620. I still need to find the value for the angle theta. To find the value for the angle theta, I have an equation B over A. Now, remember, when we do the value of the B, you copy the sign as well, the sign from B. Here, it is not important because if that was negative, it still gives you the same answer. But here, it's quite important. So, this thing is my B. So this thing is a B and this thing is a A. Put the value. So 10 inverse B is minus 0 0.077, 0 0.615 is my A. And put that one in the calculator to get your answer. The value of the theta you will get is negative 7.1. Now this is the value for the theta. Now, you go back and put that one here, uh, minus 7.1. But when you look at that one, argon diagram, which is this angle, but we don't like this angle. We want an angle the other way around. The angle we're looking at all the way from here to here. So whatever theta value you got, the real theta is going to be 360 minus 7.1. And that will give you answer as three hundred and fifty two point nine degree. Yeah. So when you write that one, R angle theta, the value of the theta is three fifty two point nine and R is zero point six two zero. This is the magnitude of the current and this is the direction of the current. And that's what this equation gives us.